You know, One Man Show came out in 1980. Uh, a woody fucking powerhouse. I remember I had a sample of it. It was so upsetting. It literally smelled like a Home Depot. I actually had a, a sensation that my Mickers was in the background managing this shit as it was going on. Very, very triggered by the scent. However, <clears throat> it was an 80s powerhouse, and as far as the 1980s goes, it was macho, but there was a slight gayness to it. Almost like it would suck you off if you had enough tequila in you, you know, and then act like it never happened, and then you go back home to your 9 to 5 life with your 9 to 5 wife and three kids. All those little bastards, those black holes, they just, they suck all your money dry. And all you want is to be sucked dried from your wife, but she's too busy fucking your next door neighbor when you're at work at Home Depot and your heart broken. You know, hats off. Anyways, this is a flanker that was presented in 2013. Um, they kept the 1980s bottle design. It's like a ruby red one man show ruby edition. When I think of ruby, I think of that little bitch from Wizard of Oz that was clapping her fucking little uh there's no place like home. You know, if you ever find yourself in a pickle and uh you realize that the person sucking your dick has a penis, unless that's what you're into, you can clap your ruby slippers together and uh it'll turn into a woman. You might have a small dog named Toto who's also gay. And uh one man show ruby edition. This is the equivalent of going down on the Wicked Witch of the East, of the West. I don't fucking know. What am I fucking Metro MGM motherfucker? What is this classic? Anyways, this is the equivalent of going down on the Wicked Witch. Uh, it's repulsive. It's literally, are you wearing the fragrance or is the fragrance wearing you? The box even says highly concentrated. This is the most offensive, overpowering, suffocating scent. It's the equivalent of just being smothered in your sleep by your jealous spouse, you know? Almost like she was looking... Jacquees! Jacquees Bogart. Quit Bogarting all the one-man show fragrances. This really is. This is like walking in on your daughter, getting railed from the back on your birthday when you wanted to pop in and surprise her. You were going to take her out on your birthday, and she's the only one celebrating as that big bowl is behind her, drilling her like a staff sergeant, but she's just left with a staff infection. The strong red flacone made of glass, I sure hope it was, uh, with a black cap and a tag shaped like the above, hides the edition of One Man Show Ruby Edition. People actually love this shit. If I ever smelt someone wearing this, I would slap them silly and ask them, are they fucking crazy? A balsamic, honey, fresh, spicy, aromatic oud. I bet Dan fingers his sphincter while smelling this. Dan, if you're watching, God bless. I wish you the best. Hats off. Um, but this ruby edition is... Uh, you know, a lot of people like to just pull the tops off of their scents. You shouldn't do that with this one. Here's the cheap ass... I'm, I'm, what is this? Plastic cap? It's not even a nice cap. More cheap fucking plastic with a, a B for a fucking bitch. So anyways, <clears throat> let's spray this. I have my Hi, I'm Chucky Wanna Play napkin because I'm a, a, a spooky fuck. So here we go. So the sprayer works great. Who gives a fuck about that? I think we're past these. Bet immediately attacked. It's like having a fat chick sit on your face, and you're not sure what part is suffocating you, but all you know is it's not going to end well. The scent itself is actually really great. It's just too overpowering. It's like a dick that's so big, but it just doesn't know how to stay hard. You know? Or a dick that is hard, but it doesn't know how to work the proper way. You know? Is it about the size or the dick game? When I waft it in my face, I'm greeted by a, 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 a honey spicy, a spicy honey. It's like uh, sticking your dick in a beehive and just letting nature take its natural course. You know, there's honeycombs in there. You guys remember that cereal from the 90s with that hyped up junkie of a fucking mascot? God bless. Yeah, it's like sticking your dick in a honeycomb while, but the honey is cinnamon, cinnamon spice. Oof. Overwhelming. One spritz in the air. 
walk through it, and that's it. Don't even apply this to your body. Sure as fuck, don't apply it to your clothes. Uh, speaking of sure fuck, who's seen that review? Anyways, the longevity. I, I made the mistake of spraying this on my wrist when I got it. The fucker lasted 48 hours. I felt like I was on a goddamn first 48 show. Like I wasn't going to make it and shit. They were going to find my body decomposed from one man show. Sounds like a great bang uh, bang bang. <laughs> Not gang bang, you fuck. Anyways, uh, affordable scent. If you like to be obnoxious and loud, this is the fragrance for you. This is the most offensive fragrance I've ever smelled. Hands down the strongest cologne I've ever smelled. Even just spraying it in the air, I'm upset about it. You could literally shit your pants and people would, wouldn't, wouldn't even be able to tell. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Holly. This ain't your review. <laughs> I got the hiccups. I had some PB Fit. Which is like a powdered peanut butter. And I don't think it's uh, agreeing with my insides. Yes, I get a, a cherry spice, a spicy cherry oud. So with that being said, uh, for the price, I mean, the bottle is ruby red. So if that gets your kicks, gets your, your, your dick hard, I would say, yeah, go for it. Buy it for 20 bucks. If you just want to smell the scent and realize that I'm not lying... Hands down, one of the strongest fragrances I've ever smelled. It is overpowering. Uh, you could spray this in your asshole and you'd be burping it up for the rest of the day. It's it's hands down one of the strongest. One Man Show, 1980s powerhouse flanker released in 2013 with the 80s powerhouse DNA Ruby Edition. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. I am Joey Cannoli. Smelly Arm, I'm sorry, uh, Cannoli Mafia. Uh, check down at my Patreon below so I can invest... In other fragrances that are very not, not that great. But, um, you know, I saved you a review. And I hope I provided entertainment. I love you all. One Man Show by Jacques Bogard Paris France. You fuck. Where's robes to pronounce that shit, huh? You guys have a great day. Should I clean my... Probably not do that. It's gonna scratch it. It's got a very fruit punch kind of vibe. Like, uh, this is what the, the Kool-Aid man's nut would smell like. You kind of almost want to drink it. It has a very fruit punchy kind of vibe. You know? Oh, yeah! Like, you just blast through the wall and just starts railing your whole family. I'm talking about your daughter, your grandmother, your aunt visiting from Maine, your wife, your little sister, that virgin, you know? I mean... Actually, when it settles down, it's, it's not that bad. I kind of like this. On paper, at least. Yeah, it reminds me of, like, a, a, a fucking fruit punch. It's like sticking your dick in a punch bowl at a fucking uh, high school prom. And realizing life's gonna fucking stick its dick in your ass when you get older and realize it's not all fun and games. Bueller, asshole, I'm ranting, I'm raving, and I'm going off topic. You guys have a good one.